All right, everyone, we're back in my room, and you should notice something under here, right? Yep, I installed a fluorescent light under my desk. Um, this was actually my first ever preheat fluorescent light. I got it um, almost back, and I think a year ago, almost maybe, or uh, maybe maybe a little bit, not too long ago, maybe a couple months ago, six months, I don't know, some something like that. But this was my first ever preheat. And it has a warm white general electric bulb in it, um, F15 T8, running on, I think it's, um, I don't really know the wattage is on it, I'll have to figure that out, but, um, it has 900 something lumens to it, but, um, we'll turn it on here. I do work under here, that's why I wanted this under here, so, turn it on here. You know, this is the light it puts off. So, when you are working, the colors really don't expose that well. So, what I did is I went to Lowe's and I bought a kitchen, bath, and office bright white F15 T8 18 inch 3500 Kelvin fluorescent light right in between so this is just a little bump up from the warm white but this is best for offices so um we're gonna um i'll show you the bulb here but we're gonna install that one i'll show you the current bulb this is gonna the current bulb in here is probably gonna go into this package and put it into that ebay package to be safe so what you do to um install these um, light bulbs in here, or fluorescent light bulbs, is you open these little tabs here. I have broken or chipped pieces off of this while I'm trying to open it. I kind of got to do it with this hand. Hold on. Hold on. So, yes, be careful with these, because these are pretty fragile. I think I'm going to need two hands to do it. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so this should just pop off. And there we go. There's our cover. And here's our bulb. We'll turn it off for you. No blinky. I'll see again. Try it again. There we go. A little bit of blinkage. Here it is. This bulb, I'm pretty sure, is... Oh, this bulb is actually original to the fixture. Um, um, this is preheat. This original to the fixture. I got this new old stock. Um, when I bought it, came with the bulb and everything, brand new, unopened. So, um, yeah, it works perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and replace the bulb. So, this is the bulb color for you right now. It's probably not gonna show much of a difference on camera. You know, quality of the camera. So basically, you do is you turn the bulb about 90 degrees, and it should just pop out. And there you go. I had to rotate it left about 90 degrees. I'll just put it here, and um, we will take the new one out. So I'm gonna have to pop this out somehow. Hold on. I can kind of wiggle this out with one hand. This might be a little bit hard, hold on. Eh, eh. <laughs> hold on. I think I just push it through, hold on. There we go. Here it is. There we go. There's the packaging. And here is the bulb. There's the letters on it. it says F15 T8 made in China. Of course. Bright white contains mercury. 
And there's all your stuff, and there's a general electric logo, and that says, yeah, I think that just says the model number based on it. I don't know, but um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to install this. Definitely different from the different kind of, like, see how the bump is smaller than this bump? See here. That's where it tells you if it's connected. So, um, and I'm pretty sure the end caps, the, the, this, this one actually has looser end caps. Like, look at the, the end caps are bent. That's why I wanted to get a new bulb. So, um... This is a bright white, and that one was warm white. I'm gonna make sure none of the end caps are loose here. Now I gotta be handle this with care. All right, so it's pretty good. So you do the same thing with this. You rotate it 90 degrees um, right for me when you put it back in. So I'm gonna set the camera down since this is a new bulb, and I don't want to break it. So I'm gonna set the camera down. I just explained how to put it back in. It's super easy, just like you installed the old one so it take me here a second be careful always be careful because these bulbs can and will break and sometimes they do will break so i will cut back to when i install it all right, after some struggle with getting this bulb in, it finally snapped into place, and it was a little hard. I think these end caps are a little bit rough and kind of tight, so since these older fixtures are kind of old and they don't support newer ones a lot, this might be a little bit extra hard to put these newer bulbs in. Anyways, this will be the first run of it, so this is probably going to be really blink happy. Sorry for the shakiness. I'm holding this with one hand, and my stupid hand can't stop shaking. Anyways, here we go. And there you go. Wow. Look at that. See? See, there is some end, blackened ends that does happen when you first run these bulbs. It runs perfect. Turn it on again. You listen to it. Bob has like a little high pitched E noise. <laughs> e. But it's definitely bright white. You can see the starter right here. Right here. Saw it in there too. All right, let's uh, install the, that interesting. So let me install the um, top part here first. All right, let me install, uh, insert the lens of the light, whatever you wanna call it, diffuser cover. secure securely and make sure you're falling out all right well, let's go ahead and turn this on nice all right hope you guys enjoyed and see you on the next one